Okay, this is part two to, of my how to care for chinchillas, guinea pigs, hamsters, mice, and rats. It took me a long time to get this video to go because I had to delete pictures and old videos off my phone because it said the video could only be six minutes long and I didn't want to like rush. So, but I got it. So, the last video, I was like showing everything that you needed for the pets I just listed. And the video was 10 minutes long, so I stopped. And I, it was kind of perfect. I stopped right when I was getting into diet. And I don't want to rush through diet because that's where I think most pet owners skip or... A lot of the videos I've seen on YouTube, especially for chinchillas and guinea pigs, they are fed the wrong types of foods and treats. And there's a lot of controversy between what they should be fed and what they shouldn't be fed. So I have had these pets for quite a while and I've learned a lot of different stuff through a lot of breeders, pet stores, and not as in big chain pet stores, I mean little pet stores that work with other breeders. So I've learned a lot of different stuff of what is good and what is bad. And I think it's kind of what you prefer in certain things. Like some people say certain brands of hay and pellets are better than others. I think it kind of depends, depends on the pet owner and the pet. So this is my tips of what I use and what I've heard is best. So another thing that I left out in the last video that is something you need is a pet dish, food dish. I left that out on accident. So you need a ceramic food dish. This is for my hamster and my mouse use. They each have one of these. And I got this on petstore.com and it's so cute. It has little hamster heads on it and little paw prints. And these come in um they're only like a dollar and they come with either hamsters on it or guinea pigs, ferrets, or bunnies so I'm probably gonna get another one of this for my other hamster and probably two for my guinea pigs and probably get the bunny one for my chinchilla this is my chinchilla and guinea pigs bowl and it's the lettuce well cabbage bowl from Super Pet and this is really good. They're all really hard to tip over and I love these for my guinea pig because they can't go to the bathroom in it. And when you have a flatter bowl, they will go to the bathroom in it. My chinchilla will too. Um, a lot of the starter kits you get for your hamster will have this in it. I mean, I've got the Carefresh starter kit twice. This is the little bowl you get, which is fine. It's a cute little bowl, but some of them will eat it. None of my animals eat plastic. Well, except my chinchilla will eat plastic if she doesn't have anything else to chew on. So, this is not good. Like, the bowl that she had before I got her was this bowl. Look at that. So that will happen if you give them a plastic bowl. Don't do that. Plastic can be toxic to small pets. So moving on from that, pelleted treats is probably the most expensive thing you're going to buy. This is the pelleted treat that my hamsters and my mouse eat. Now hamsters and mice need a treat that has, well a food that has pellets and seeds and nuts. This is the KT for the diet for hamsters and gerbils. And this works fine. They eat it. Some of them pick through it and only eat what they want. Like my um, Syrian hamster will only eat the pellets out of it. Which I think is fine. It's good she's not only eating the nuts. So, and also rats also need a mixed food is what I'm going to call it. For mice and rats, you can also add dog food to it because they like a high-protein diet. This, on the other hand, is my chinchilla's food. Pellets only. There are a couple little bits in it, 
But that is because I have taken her to the vet. And I was told that she needs the KT Dentist mix. So this is the dentist mix mixed with her old food. Because I'm introducing it in. So guinea pigs also need a pelleted only. No seeds, no nuts, nothing like that. Because seeds and nuts, they can actually choke on them. And they also make them fat. Er. Okay, so that, their pelleted food, or mixed food, should be about 20% of their diet. Okay, next is treats. I'm doing this in a weird order. So these are some of the treats that, these are little guinea pig muffins that I just got. They're so adorable, they look like muffins. So, and they hear them and they're squeaking. And these are the veggie puffs. These are treat the treats are you know maybe one treat every other day cuz those are kind of big S some other treats that I use is fiesta healthy toppings these are the two that I use only I only use these this is the papaya healthy toppings and this is the dried banana which you can just go to the store and buy dried banana so I just like to use these. And those, all of my animals love them. These are another treat that I mainly just give my my chinchilla to. These are KT alfalfa nibblers. Berry. I also had carrot. And they're like alfalfa cubes with some added flavors. And I gave these to the guinea pigs maybe when I one each when I first got them because you should not give your guinea pig full grown guinea pigs alfalfa okay baby guinea pigs can have alfalfa and pregnant guinea pigs and the biggest part of their diet is right here this is um, sunseed select spring harvest timothy hay and that is a 56 ounce bag and that will probably probably last a month for three guinea pigs or a month for one chinchilla. I found out that chinchillas will eat hay a lot more than my guinea pigs will. That right there is a hay dis let's see, not even a hay dispenser, it's a hay inhaler. She will eat hay non-stop. Which is good. I mean, the more hay they eat, the healthier they are. It helps with their teeth and it also helps for good digestion. And you can also, for your guinea pig, well, chinchilla, sorry, chinchilla, not guinea pig, <laughs> your chinchilla, you can get um, alfalfa hay, but sparingly, like once a week, maybe. Once a week, I will fill her hay rack up with alfalfa hay, and it's supposed to help, you know, with vitamins and help with their teeth also, but chinchillas and guinea pigs should have unlimited hay at all times so that means hay racks should always be filled or whatever you put your hay in should always be filled alfalfa hay for growing guinea pigs or pregnant guinea pigs and once a week for chinchillas you can also give hay to your hamsters or rats or mice but my hamsters will eat it um, my mouse doesn't. He makes a nest with it. So, I would probably say, if you're looking, if I'm rating the animals from expensive to least expensive, chinchilla is probably the most expensive. Because look at that. Look at that. You have to set that up. So, that's wheels, hideouts, wooden ledges, um, alfalfa and timothy hay, pellets, treats, um... Let's see, did I say wheel? Wheel? <laughs> Wooden shoes, lots of stuff. Plus the price of the chinchilla, plus the price of the cage itself. So, oh, and the price of dust. That's a lot of stuff for a chinchilla. Guinea pigs, you have to buy the cage, the guinea pig, a hideout, um, any little accessories you think are necessary. And what I mean by you think are necessary is stuff as in extra hideouts, hay racks, um, chews. Chews are necessary, but, you know, depending on how many chews. 
So, and the least expensive would probably be a dwarf hamster or a mouse, because look at that. That's, that's it. You're probably talking about a hundred dollars to get started, maybe, depending on what cage you get and what brand of stuff you buy, and then probably ten dollars a month to keep it up. Set up a chinchilla cage, probably two hundred to three hundred dollars to start, and fifty dollars to keep it up monthly. So, it's a big difference, but chinchillas are totally worth it. They are wonderful pets. Guinea pigs are roughly same price, probably $100 to set it up. I'd probably say $30 a month to keep it up for one. This is one animal each, so. But they are all worth it. They're wonderful. Oh, another thing, last thing about chinchillas, best treat for chinchillas, raisins. These are what's left of my raisins. I have to fill this up. This is just a little container I have for my raisins. Um, two or three raisins a day and that's it. Even though they look like they want more, it's not good for them because if you give them too many, they will only want to eat the raisins and they will not eat their pelleted food. So, no spoiling your chinchillas. So, that's everything. Wow, this video went longer than the other video, but oh well. If I missed anything, please leave a comment and no more rude comments, please, people, because some of you think you know everything about pets. And, like I said, it depends on the pet owner and your pet of what you should be feeding them.